That's your, your world. This is D. Frank, and you're riding in the Black Scat Pack. What's going on YouTube? This is D Frank. I'm back with in the back of the black scat pack. And you see me with the same clothes on. Um, don't worry, this video just was shot right after I got through changing the oil in the car. So yeah, y'all get the funny idea that that I don't take baths. Get that out the back of your head if you're thinking it. But yeah, I'm back here today. We're gonna show you what I'm about to get into now. I already got the jack stand put up. See that? We're about to get to change the rear diff fluid. And I have everything laid out. You're gonna need a torque wrench, eight millimeter hex tool, two quarts, rear gear oil, I mean gear oil, and I got some limited slip supplement right here. And I'm gonna get the oil pan and we're gonna get to work. So yeah, let's get to it. Start off by using the 8mm hex head and we're starting with the torque wrench and yeah we will take the top bolt off because it's very important that you do the top one first because it'll be bad if you drain the bottom and you can't get the top off. Once you started to get it loose with the with the torque wrench, you can take a shorter ratchet and take the top bolt off and sit it to the side. Once you got the top bolt taken off, then you can put your drain pan back in place and take your torque wrench and start taking the plug from the bottom one so you can drain all the diff fluid out. And once you got it going to a certain point, you can either take the eight millimeter hex head and spin it off yourself and use a ratchet or whatever, but it would be nicer to have a shorter one, shorter torque wrench. So you won't have all the troubles that I'm going through here. And once you get that bottom bolt off, sit it to the side and let all that rear diff fluid drain out. And you will put the bottom bolt back in. You'll leave the top off. So you can actually start adding the diff fluid through the top. Once you get your tube or whatnot, or however you have it set up to where you can feed, uh, put fluid in the top, set everything up and start squeezing it through. It, in my case, it would have helped if I'd have had a, either a shorter tube or a smaller container to put every, put the diff fluid in. And please forgive me for having my big head in the way of the shot, but I think you get the gist of where the diff fluid goes. So make sure that well, once you will know when it's done, being uh, when you know you'll know when the diff fluid is full because it will start spewing out the top hole, and that's when you can put the uh, top bolt back on 
make sure you torque your bolts down to 23 foot pounds and that's it just clean up your mess afterwards and it's simple as that all right everybody I done decided to fast forward a little bit but basically but basically it was you know once you've seen how you get the bolts off you do everything in reverse um, as I I'm gonna ear it yeah I'm gonna double down on this point that I made in the beginning you know early in the video if you're gonna change your rear diff fluid make sure you're able to get that top bolt off before you try to take the bottom one off where where the actual drain is at because you're gonna be looking pretty stupid or yeah, you're gonna be looking stupid and you're gonna probably be cussing if you get that bottom boat off and drain it and you can't get that top off so remember to do that um, and as you you might have seen might not but you'll know it's full once the top when it starts pouring out the top a little bit you can see um, I moved the pan out the way before it got to that point it overflowed a little bit but now I'm about to get to the cleanup process and you might have seen me struggling a little bit so if you do this make sure you put it you can put it on a smaller container or you can shorten the length of, your, of the tube up or you can get something like a turkey baster or some kind of way to inject it in there but man I'm tired I smell like burnt oil um, I stank for real this time so I'm about to get out of these dirty old work clothes or whatnot that I had and wash all this nasty oil off me before I get cancer be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. If this video helped you out in any way, please share it. And until next time, man, y'all take it easy. Look who decided to help me when everything's done. Well, show it up. Well, Derek, he he made a video about changing oil today. After this video, go check that one out.